Can you believe that? Last time we checked, Bielsa was unemployed. Jose Mourinho got sacked at Tottenham, and they hired Bielsa, and they beat us 2-1. to one. Deli Alley and Sanchez with goals. Rodrigo got us one back in stoppage time. Pretty even match, but they just had more, more of it. <laughs> so, uh, but I was like, really? Bielsa? Come on, man. <laughs>
So just something to be cognizant about. And then Jack Harrison, 10 and 5, but only 15 games, but he has been injured. He is coming back uh, from that injury. We have a 12 and a half million option fee to buy him for next year. We've made a loan, another loan extension, which is much like what Leeds did this year in real life. And we put a 13 million option fee on it just to, you know, that way I can put that off on the never, never, basically. Uh, I don't do that in contracts for the most part, but it is what it is. Uh, also, our under-23 squad won the Premier League second division, or two or second division, however they do judge that, but we won it uh, by seven points, so looking real good there. Let's get into the matches today. So, Rodrigo up top, Jones back from his injury, Rafinha on the right wing. He has really gotten a partnership going with Ailing, Click, Shackleton in the midfield, uh, Phillips deep line, Dallas Cooper, Koch, and Ailing on the back line. Dallas just recently back from a pretty major injury, and we also lost uh, Alioski to uh, an injury. So we lost our two starting left backs. Uh, Meslier in the goal. Roberts has been on the bench as of late. Bamford, of course, moved over to the bench. Stroik, Costa, Leaf Davis, and Christo is over there as well. Stuart Dallas is lacking match sharpness. That is not a surprise coming back from an injury. Hasn't played in a while. And we will give that shout. I do want to, let's try, I want to turn. Where do I turn that on at? I don't know. There's a way, you guys let me know, because this is how we normally play. You see the person with the ball. There is an option this year in FM21 to turn all the player names on, so you can see all the players. I, I'm going to think that's a little convoluted. I think that's that just shows a little too much uh, information on the screen. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you want them all turned on, we'll do that. Laid off to Shackleton. Oh, Rodrigo tried to volley that in. Good pass back by Phillips to reset it. Back out to Ailing. We've actually had some pretty good ball movement, uh, rotation of the ball, and you can see our goal scoring is up in recent matches. Oh, Rodrigo takes a ping, 13th of the season. Wow. Honestly, wasn't expecting that. Shackleton with the assist. And that was a great finish. Here's Rodrigo. Uh, he just had space, and he just beat the keeper with a laser or a howitzer or whatever, whatever they called it there. That is looking good. A bruised shin. We're going to ignore that. We'll keep an eye on his, uh, his health here. Yeah, I got it. Oh, Meslier comes out aggressive and makes the snag on the ball. Got to like that. Let's give, yeah, I'll sort it out and then leave it alone. Cancel. Jesus. Um, let's encourage him. Jones over the top. Rodrigo one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, and he slots that home beautifully. He's got a brace. 14th of the season. And we have torn Brighton open at the back. 27th minute. And we have a 2-0 advantage. Doesn't mean anything. Oh, I always get nervous with the uh, set pieces. You know, it's it's an FM20 thing. It's going to take a while to not panic every time there's a set piece, right? <laughs> I'm still having nightmares about that goal Meslier gave up uh, 
an episode or two back. If you didn't see that, go back and check it out. I think it was last episode, but it might have been the one before. He came outside the box over here and uh, just couldn't believe it. Ooh, that was that was a dangerous looking ball. Dangerous looking ball. All right, click is starting to run down. Okay, he's indicated the bruised shin. All right, so he wants to come off. Tell you what, I'm going to bring Curtis Jones back, and then we'll bring Bamford on there. We'll slot Bamford over to the to the other side. All right, that gives us the injury sub. I've got to remember that, not to make two automatically at the 60th minute like I normally do. Stuart Dallas, nice steal of that ball. Solid defense. Looking for ways to break that line. All right. Oh, look at the first touch by Bamford. Jones lays it off into Shackleton. He's on a breakaway. Oh, and he can't find the finish. That probably deserved a little bit more. Three shots, one on target by Brighton. 6 of 10 on target for us, a 1.31 to a 0 0.2 for Brighton. Rodrigo with the brace. Uh, we are going to outstretched arms, like the way things are going. You know, it's really funny. Um, some of the things I've been saying in, my, you know, I was so busy trying to get recordings done in the early days here. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, good finish by Trossard, his eighth of the season. We needed to do better there. But, you know, I've, you know, I remember making some comments in my early videos. And then once I got caught up, I've spent basic. So I'm recording this on Saturday morning. Um, let's give a shout. Fire up. And I'm now finally having time to start watching the guys that I normally watch. So uh, I've caught up on Lelujo's videos. I have uh, started watching Loki's videos. And that's odd because I always watched Loki's first. And I think, I think it was because Loki pulled the plug on his last save and he hasn't done anything in so long. I've kind of shifted over to Lelujo as my main guy just because he had content for a while. Um, but I still love Loki, of course. And he, you know, you guys know that have been with me for a while. He's the reason I even started doing Football Manager. So uh, that is what it is. But uh, hearing them kind of give the same input, right, is, is kind of neat, you know, that I'm seeing the same things they are, right? It's just, it's kind of interesting uh, for that. So Stuart Dallas... He's fresh, though, but, you know, he is coming back from that injury. So I'm going to pull him for Leaf Davis, and we're just going to make the one sub for right now. I do want to go into our tactic and slow the pace down, and let's regroup. Just to try to hold on to this lead. All right, and then there is the shout for another sub. So we are Curtis Jones, Rafinha are both looking wiped out. If I bring him off, I can bring Costa on. Jones is going to have to suck it up. He'll probably sit out the next match. And let's give a last shout to Focus. Come on. No highlights at this point is a good thing for me. Two to one on the final score. Nice game by Rodrigo. Best performer. And we are point finger. That was really special, guys. Fired everybody up. Still sitting in 10th position. 
but we are scoring some goals, so that is good. We had our youth intake day. Let's take a look at that real quick. Arsenal will not be taking a Euro Cup two place via the Carabao Cup after qualifying. So that will be taken by the next eligible. Okay, that's actually good. I don't recall ever seeing that. So if we look here, so Arsenal has qualified up here. So that would drop it from 6th to 7th, is that right? So United is actually in. So we're only three points off of qualifying. That would be really good. Rodrigo, we're going to praise his performance. Put my arm around him. You are superb. Very happy. Uh, Bielsa has been, uh, of course, as you saw in the intro here to this video, Marcelo Bielsa was hired by Tottenham and then beat us. And now he's been to our stadium three times keeping an eye on Calvin Phillips. I've kind of shut that down and said I'm not interested, but anyway. Uh, development center under 23s. First in the English U23 Premier Division 2. So 15 wins, 5 draws, 3 losses. 50 points, 1 by 7 over Aston Villa. And Max McMillan, eight goals, led the way for us, 7.25 rating. Noah Kenna, five yellow cards, right up there with Kyle Bartley. And uh, so, yeah, had a good, good time there. Going back to the development center and our youth candidates. So these are our remaining youth candidates that we haven't signed and I don't think I'm going to. If we take a look at the squad here. Don't they have, aren't they supposed to have one for age? Some of these guys we have signed off, my, my normal youth intake, if you watched my Forest Green save, is on release day, we bring all those you know younger players in for trials and then sign a lot of them. So we did sign, I think, four players there. But if we look at potential, I believe it was Sean Connolly. The goalkeeper, Harry Caton. Okay, that's one of the guys coming in through our youth system. Paul White, he's in our youth system. Trying to see who it was, if they're showing if they came from another system, because I don't remember. This one, yeah. Okay, so Man City. Oh, that's why those guys aren't. They're not in the squad yet. They're in the transfers. We have future transfers, right? Yeah, here we go. So we're bringing in uh, Oyugok from Arsenal. Uh, he will be joining us in June at the end of the season. Joe Hike or Hay from Chelsea, a winger. He'll be coming in. And then uh, Luke Flange, 18-year-old from Arsenal. Those are the three guys that we signed all off of trials. So, all right, we'll be right back for the next match against Barnsley. All right, we are back for Burnsley. We're bringing Rodrigo up top, Rafinha on the right wing. Jack Harrison is back, lacking match sharpness, of course, but he is back in. We've gotten the uh, loan extension accepted by Man City. They're, they've got one more year on their contract with him so we've just pushed out our purchase time for one more year to let let money start flowing again and that gives me hopefully more money in my transfer budget to buy players for next season because we are going to try to do a second season here uh let's see we're going to drop phillips and klitsch is fresh so we're going to bring him in for Koch. Shackleton in the middle, Phillips at the base, Cooper, Urente in the central mid defenders, Dallas and Ailing on the wings, Meslier up top, and we are not going with a reserve keeper. Capriel got uh, torn abdominal muscles in training, and he's going to be out for a little while. So we may actually have to go into our U18s. Actually, we do have Vanden Heuvel. I think that's the correct pronunciation. He's a young Dutch keeper that we just signed this year, 17 years old. So he's going to be our reserve keeper, but I think we're going to go without one today. 
Harrison, I'm not thinking we'll get a full match. He will likely come off at halftime. Just kind of thinking out loud. All right, Meslier plays it out. Cooper, there's Harrison. Nice first touch ball, which he has an incredible first touch. I think it's 17 rating in the game. Oh, Meslier with a beautiful ping out to Rafinha. Shackleton, he has been a key player. Oh, he breaks all the way in and it's knocked away. But boy, he did a great job driving into the box through the channel. There's a near post. And that goes nowhere. Not much activity here. 0.51 to 0.08 in the XG. All right, let's demand more. Yeah, that's that's horrible. That they could just take that out as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. Try to fire them up. Oh, they didn't like that. Rodrigo. Oh, that is not good. A twisted knee. Uh, let's see. We go into tactics here. A potential knee injury. So I think we've got to pull him off. So we're going to bring Bamford up top. And Harrison. Harrison is still looking good. All right, I'm sitting here looking around the screen trying to figure out how to get back to the locker room because we haven't given our team talk. Oh, well, that, that kind of sucks. You used to be able to do that. Oh, okay. There you go. All right, well, that's me. That's me, I guess. Bamford on for Rodrigo. Hopefully that knee injury is not serious because... That could be oh, Bamford with a one-time out to the corner. And what a cross by Harrison just right on the line. That was a rope. That was a rope. There's a nice interception. Chested down. Oh, Bamford turns inside. Ugh. And that is classic Patrick Bamford right there. Beautiful move, beautiful setup, just off the mark. Luke Ailing. Oh, it went off the crossbar. Counter opportunity is on Rodriguez. Into the box. Knocked away by Ailing. Rodriguez went down after the tackle. I don't know if you saw that. Looked like a dive attempt trying to get the foul. All right, let's go in and look at our sub because we've already made one. I'm going to go ahead and pull Harrison. I wish when you would do it here, it would give you the same option as this side where it kind of gives you a suggestion, right? So let's bring Jones on for him. And we're only going to make the one sub because we already made the one at halftime. All right, let's uh, demand more. Ailing, Rafinha. Phillips with a nice ball out to Ailing. Uh, Ailing keeps his footing on oh, Bamford, just misses a header at the back post. Just off the mark. And Chris Wood. That mother. I was going to show you Chris Wood. I forgot we were playing him today. I believe. 10, 20. Oh, that was his 40th. He had scored 40 goals for Burnsley. Since going since go, leaving Leeds to go there. Um, yeah, okay. So he's only got six this year. I don't feel as bad about that. 
then i thought he had 40 this year and i was like what all right let's put uh our formation in there please phillips is knackered there's only a few minutes left let's bring costa on for rafinha should have done that about five minutes ago Jones, we have a counter opportunity. Bamford making a run. Oh, he chipped it. Oh, my God, what a goal. What a goal. Oh, that was incredible. A late equalizer. Jones takes it the length of the field. What a goal that was. Beat his man and then just chipped the keeper. Oh, that was beautiful. And that's one of those new uh, new playing things there. Oh, that is huge. Huge equalizer to gain a point back. Wow. Hands in pockets, not happy with your performance. I mean, you know, we should have done better. That was a game we needed to win. So we're 45 points, even with Southampton, behind on goal differential. Only two points behind United uh, for possible Euro Europe next year. <sighs> okay. Three to five days. That's, that's great. One to two days and one to two days. All right. So I came back because I thought we needed another episode, which we did. I think I'm going to call it a season, guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish the season. There's only four matches left. So what I'm this is this is my game plan. One of two things are going to happen and you'll figure it out next episode. If we're in challenge for if we're challenging for a Europa finish, last game against Palace. I'll come back for that game. And then we'll do Palace and transfers in the next episode. If we are safely in Europa or no shot at Europa, one or the other, then we'll just come back with transfers and the first match of next season. That's going to be what I'm going to do. So even if you see the match, you won't know if it's because we're challenging or, uh, you know, whatever. But um, if we have it wrapped up, so we'll talk about that next episode. It's been a good season. I will do a quick wrap up uh, as part of the transfer window at the end for next episode. Uh, whichever way I go, we'll look at the final squad stats, goal scoring, what have you. And uh, we'll talk about all that. So guys, thank you so much. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And remember, that like button is your way of letting me know that you like what I'm doing and want to see more and also helps with the YouTube algorithms to get more people's eyes on my video. And I do want to give a big, big thank you to all of you that have watched any of the initial episodes here in the beta. Um, some of my highest performing videos in quite some time, maybe ever, outside, you know, as far as football manager. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. And we will talk to you guys next time. Take care. Bye.